Hey guys, so today I wanted to do kind of a quick video showing you guys all of my patches. And on and on we'll go. a few patches um, I definitely don't have as much as some people but I do have like I think it's quite a few um, I definitely have more than when I first started in the community obviously but um, I do have a couple different sets so I'd love to kind of give you guys a little bit of tour a tour on like what I have right now um, so I am gonna start with my I guess I should try and go like oldest to newest so this is my patch wall basically it's just like a repurposed picture frame so there was a picture in here originally i bought it from saint vinnie's and i took out the picture and the glass and everything and i just put some um fabric in here to hold the patches up i mean obviously if you guys can read you might have seen what some of my college patches say um we do have like my school arlo has his own little school id that can open um some of the doors um and we have a patch that my um, best friend Michaela got for us when we, um, when I first got Arlo. Um, so these are technically our first patches. However, I'm not going to show you these guys in depth or like talk about them because, well, you guys have probably seen them on my Instagram or on my YouTube somewhere. I try not to bring up my, um, the school that I go to because, uh, you know, I don't want people like doxing me or whatever, obviously. So, you know, I don't live in the dorms there anymore, but yeah. So, um, this is kind of the first set that I ever had, um, that I had, like, made by someone. Um, so these are, this is the set, um, there's two service dog patches with little stars with the little gems inside of them. If you haven't guessed already, it is the Steven Universe set, and I used to have a vest that would go with these, um, and then there is also the... I am her universe patch, which was what my favorite patch for a really long time that has Lion on it. I love Lion. He was my favorite from Steven Universe. I love him so much. And then um, this is a cookie cat patch. It says he left his family behind. Um, and then this patch says Arlo. And I don't talk about this set very often. And I don't use this set very often because the shop that I worked with when I did this, um, we had like a modeling deal sort of thing. And then it fell through. They like decided they didn't want me to model for them anymore but I had already done like I had already paid for some of my gear that they hadn't sent me and it had been like several months so and you know starting out in the service dog community I didn't really have anything so this was going to be my first set and before that I didn't have anything I didn't have any gear whatsoever so you know waiting on your first set because you don't have any gear at all and you're taking your dog out naked kind of sucks right so um and obviously I worked around that, but um, at the time this, this was really disappointing. I believe the shop is actually shut down now because they had like some similar altercations with people. Not my story to tell, but um, yeah. So this was my first patch set was the Steven Universe set and I really like it. Eventually I'd love to get like some other Steven Universe patches to kind of go with this, but um, for now this is what I have. We don't use it very often because um, I mean, I love Steven Universe, but I think our other patches, like some of the things that I think are important are having patches that say like, don't pet and that kind of stuff. And we don't have patches that match that set that say that. So, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, I just found this on one of the harnesses in our closet. This came with it. So this like, you know, regular four symbols patch. So that came with that as well. I do want to touch on this because apparently people are like very surprised when they find out that I have all of these. There's one more on my training pouch and I think on my treat pouch and I think that might be it. I don't know. There might be more. <laughs> They're everywhere. All of my one tigress patches. I have one here, one here. We got one here. We got one here. That's upside down. We got one right here. I put them on everything. Um, one tigress is my favorite brand of dog gear. My favorite brand, my favorite like thing of dog gear. 
So I basically put it on everything. Um, and they're, they're nice patches. They're nice little filler patches. Um, and since I do like brand rep for them and I do a lot of like gear testing for them, um, it's just kind of, you know, nice to, to be like, hey, One Tigress, you should check them out. How many One Tigress patches do you have? Because I know that once I ended up getting like one One Tigress thing and I started getting more, like I had tons of patches. Because you have like one with every One Tigress item, right? So it's, it's crazy. <laughs> like how many you end up with at the end. It's wild. I think my second set... So I don't have a lot of the pieces from my second set because I think I actually have them in my scrapbook. These are from my second set of patches. They say service dog on them and they have the little stars. That's kind of like our trademark. We use like the service dog with the little stars on them. And um, it came with this in training patch. Um, these are from Jello Mutt. These are nice little patches for things. Um, yeah. It also came with our social media patches at the time. Um, they said our social media name, um, and now I have them in our dog scrapbook, which I'm not going to get out right now because it's under a bunch of stuff, but they, um, they had, like, our social media name at the time, which was, I think it was Arlo the Service Poodle, so, um, obviously we don't use those anymore because that's not our, uh, username anymore. I believe the next set that I got was this one. So I have these two service dog patches that also have the stars on them. These are the ones that I currently use on my One Tigress um, Apollo 09. So these go on there. And then I have a If Handler Is Down one, but I keep that one on my backpack. So it says If Handler Is Down, um, do not call 911 unless hurt. Do not separate dog from handler and give us space. And it's on my backpack that I take to my infusions. Um, that way, if, you know, something happens while we are, you know, out and I have that backpack on me, people can read that and it might be easier. But it's relatively large. It's a pretty big patch. I'll show it to you guys. So, as you can kind of see here, this is my infusion backpack, the one that I take to infusions and the one that I take to class. As you guys can see, it's a pretty large patch. Like, this is not going to fit on any of Arlo's vests or anything. Um, and that's not necessarily the... That's not the maker's fault or anything, but it ended up being huge. So I'm not going to keep this on any of his, like, vests or anything like that. So there's that. And then also from that set is um, this patch. It says distracting me from my job is illegal. Um, and it is in our state. And there's the Wisconsin statute that says that. Um, this patch is also kind of large. Um, so I didn't really put this on anything. I mean, it's nice to have. It's a nice patch. But, um... We don't really put on anything because it's kind of big, so. But it is a really nice set, and this is, like, one of the best quality um, places to order from. This is from Lunar Lily Co. Uh, I did work with them for a little bit. We did some, like, modeling for them and also some, um, like, social media work for them. So that is how we got these patches. Um, this is a really nice set. I would definitely recommend um, ordering from them. They are really sweet. I love her so much and her dog is really cute. So you guys should definitely order from them. So this patch um, was made by my friend Michaela. She had a an embroidery machine for a really short amount of time and I think this is actually one of the first patches or like pieces of embroidery that she made. Um, we don't really use it because we don't have like a set that it goes with but it's really cute and I want to keep it because obviously it, it means a lot to me because she made it for me. Um, and we were playing Minecraft a lot at the time. So it says, don't be a creeper, please give me space. Um, it doesn't look great on camera. <laughs> Her embroidery machine was broken the whole time she had it. So the fact that she was even able to put this out is pretty great. This is one of the better pieces that she did um, while she had the machine because we ended up being able to return it because it was broken. So, um, but it's really nice. It's a really nice piece. The, the, um... It's so sweet. Like, honestly, like, I remember playing Minecraft with her and just having this patch and remembering that is really fun. So I want to say the next patch that I got was this. Um, so this this is from one of the programs that we work for and work with. So Guide Dogs of America. Um, you guys have definitely seen this on Arlo before. Um, 
we we aren't required to wear it or anything like that but we do have it and it's very nice and I like having it so yeah that's kind of it for this patch I want to say the next patch that I got was this one it says I'm doing my tasks these might not be in chronological order I apologize this one says I'm doing my tasks and it's an Among Us character. I always play white when I play Among Us. Um, I don't know, I just like, I like playing white. So um, my friend Elsbeth got this for me for Christmas and I just thought this was such a cute little patch because, you know, Arlo does tasks. So, and if you know Among Us, you know that's, that's funny. So um, yeah, I really like this patch too. This was a patch that Michaela gave us um, I'm not sure exactly where she got it from. Um, I think this might have been a Shepherd Snuggles patch. It says, service dog do not pet. This has been really helpful to have when we didn't have any patches that said that because I used to not have so many patches um, and Michaela had like a ton. So um, having this patch has been really helpful because there's some days where like I won't have anything on my gear that says, like, that's this big and says that. So, yeah, so Michaela gave us this one. And then this one's one of my favorite patches. Michaela gave me this one. Um, and it's got Toby and Arlo on it as little Animal Crossing characters. This is from So What Co. If you guys have not ordered from So What Co., I don't know what you're doing. You're missing out, my guy. Um, I know they're kind of expensive, but they are amazing. Um, so it has Toby and Arlo as little Animal Crossing characters and it says friends and Michaela has a matching one that says best so it says best friends and it's like friendship necklaces but like service dog patches like amazing idea um it's so cute I love it so much I would say that Arlo most of the time when we're wearing something that can have patches on it he's wearing this so I love it so much Another set that Michaela gave me was this one, which is like, this is like a very versatile set. It's very nice to have because it goes with like, it, it's a nice pop of color because if you guys don't know, most of Arlo's stuff is black and white, which I love. I Arlo's stuff being black and white, amazing. It's, it's, it's his color combo and I love it. But having this is kind of a nice pop of color. I think this is also from So What Co. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Um, so these two rainbow stop signs is do not pet service dog on it. And then the little rainbow, um, symbols. It's really nice. And it's also kind of like sort of gay pride, but like not like gay pride, you know? So it's nice to have this as well. And then these two are just kind of funny. I got these... I got these at Hot Topic and I put the Velcro on myself. Um, it's just the little glue Velcro stuff so it comes off pretty often. But honestly, I can't even tell you how much I love these these little guys. They're so cute. I can't even. Oh my god. So, <laughs> so this is a nice little Halloween addition to like whatever gear you're wearing. So this little ghost is saying boo and he's going boo like with the thumbs down. Very cute. And then he's got a little friend. His little friend is a little ghost with a knife. And he's like, if you touch me, I will fuck you up. So I think having them together is so cute. I love them so much. Having them having them be together is is the best. I love them. So yeah, that's them. And then Michaela also got me these two patches. I don't remember, th this wasn't for a holiday at all. Dear Michaela, spend your money on important things. Thank you. She got me these two and it's it was really sweet. Um, with the most recent like set of patches that she got, I think because when she started working at Walmart, she wanted to get like Walmart patches. So um, these are from Shepherd Snuggles. And um, this one says he gives me the magic to find my own strength. And it's like a little Disney patch. Very cute. And then this one says he helps me see the light and it's Tangled. And if you guys do not know, Tangled is my favorite. Like, well, Rapunzel is my favorite Disney princess. So I, I absolutely love this patch. Um, if he had had any chance to wear it yet, then I definitely would have let him. But um, we haven't worked, so. But... It's true, he truly does help me see the light. 
so yeah it's very sweet and then our most recent patch set so this set is from all pods have purpose and i'd say that like all together, I, I mean, maybe this is just because it's my most recent set. All together, this is probably my favorite set that I've ordered from anyone because it's just so amazing. <laughs> so uh, I love these patches so much. If you guys have not ordered from All Pods Have Purpose, you are missing out, queens. I love them so much. Their harnesses are amazing. We have a vinyl harness from them. Oh, amazing. It's black, sparkly. It's so beautiful. The words are so perfect like the embroidery is beautiful and then their handles maybe one of like the best most sturdy handles i've ever used amazing i had to order a second one because the first one like we love it for our harness but then the, the clips don't fill in fit into our yup so i ordered a second handle just so we could have one for our yup like we had to have one these patches are like a matte vinyl so it looks like they're like regular um whatever the canvas but they're not they're vinyl which means that they will be like sorty or longer so we got this ehlers danlos syndrome service dog little um with a ribbon on it i love that i've always wanted some ehlers danlos syndrome patches because i don't have any <laughs> um and then this one is like probably my favorite out of all the patches maybe i don't know i don't know i can't decide if it's my favorite or not but like this one is so cute it says standard poodle on duty. And look at how cute the poodle is. Ah! Um, and then, and I know I just, I just did a video about this set, but here we go talking about it again. Um, and then this one says access required by federal law, ADA.gov. Love that patch as well. And then um, this... One also says Ehlers Danlos Syndrome Service Dog, and it's got the little zebra over there. I love the design of this one, honestly. Very nice. And then this is the patch that I wanted. Um, the bigger one that I showed you guys that's on the backpack. This is what I wanted, but um, I might have put in like the wrong um, like size or something. I'm not sure, but that one worked for the backpack, so this one works for his vest. So it says, if handler is down, do not call 911 unless hurt. Do not separate dog from handler and give us space. So there's that one. And it's perfect size for his one tigress. So I'll show you guys. I'll put it all on his one tigress and show you. So this is our current setup on his one tigress. Um, I love it so much. It's so cute. Um, and I've been switching out our GDOA patch for the for this one, kind of like, depending on what we're doing. Um, obviously we haven't had a chance to use it yet, but you know, I've been messing around with patches even since he got injured just because I miss doing it so much. And I think it's kind of made me reevaluate like our gear and like what we need and don't need. So um, it's been really nice to be able to collect this stuff. Hey guys, editing Brielle here. So really quick, I figured that I would just say that um, not everybody has the money to afford uh, a ton of patches or a ton of gear. I'll be completely honest. I There was a time where I had like no gear uh, and Arlo was working in like a vest that I made with fabric I found at St. Vinny's and you know, it had service dog written on it. It wasn't like, you know, a patch or anything like that. So I do want to say that, you know, just because someone has an Amazon vest doesn't mean that their dog is fake. It's the dog's behavior and the training that makes their dog a service dog. They aren't required to keep their dog in gear when working, that kind of stuff. However, I would say, you know, patches aren't necessarily something that's required, but if you're doing like mobility on your dog and, you know, you know, things like, you know, a safe harness, that's required obviously. But um, I think people just need to be a little bit less judgmental of what people can afford in terms of gear. Uh, so just putting that out there. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of our patches. Um, go check out some of the shops. I'll try and tag some of them in the description so that you guys can go check them out directly on their Instagram or their shop or wherever. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in whatever I make next. Bye.